Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So, long-time watchers of the channel will be aware that I've reported very intermittently on the prospect of a Mega City 1 TV series. This is a Dread-esque series. So obviously, you know, Carl Urban, Dread, 2012's Dread, Dread 3D, whatever you want to call it. Fantastic film. One of, I still genuinely believe, one of the best comic adaptations to this day. It's very, very good uh, in terms of its comic adaptation. Uh, this was announced a long time ago and again long time subscribers will be aware I actually had the chance to go up and interview the CEO of Rebellion Jason Kingsley uh, and also the then producer of the Mega City One TV series Brian Jenkins. Subsequently there's been so many things that have happened and we are still not closer to getting this series. Now I am consistently asked you know, from time to time, less so now, because of course time's gone on, but I'm asked what's happening with this show. And I've stopped reaching out to Jason Kingsley mainly because, and this is not a slight on, you know, Jason Kingsley and the how they're handling anything. I just think that they spoke way too soon. They got people's hopes up way too much. And there'll be loads of people making the excuse of, well, the pandemic. And in fact, it's actually an excuse that they made a while back but there were still things being made during the pandemic and we are no closer to getting this series off the ground it's nowhere near we do have kind of an update it is from Carl Urban and I want to clarify some bits and pieces because consistently and it is consistently the media has got this wrong they've been saying right from when it was announced it's going to be a dread sequel it was never intended to be a dread sequel in fact ever so it was never intended to be a dread sequel ever realistically there was all the there was the potential that if Carl Urban had returned they would have him as Judge Dredd but it would be its own thing and it would not be a follow-on it would be a different world mainly because that sort of the rights to that world that they created in that movie had had sort of ties elsewhere they, they you can't just get the rights to that specific world that had just been created for that movie it's very complex these rights deals that happen so let's check out the previous report on all of this which is just again not not confidence inspiring um judge dread mega city one tv series on hold due to uh the pandemic i mean Let's just let's not beat around the bush on this. The pandemic is not an excuse for these projects being on hold. Uh, there was many, 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 many things being made during the pandemic. And I think what's important to note here, how we know that this is nonsense, is that they currently didn't have a pilot script at a certain point in time. They then well, they did have a pilot script. I read that one. Uh, and then that one had to get scrapped because there was some sort of legal wranglings with IM Global or X. I am global guy Mark Stern, if I remember rightly. It's all like distributors and things like that. Uh, and then anyway, so they, they had the chance to do this kind of stuff, but it wasn't the pandemic. It was the fact that they just haven't got anything moving. Uh, and it, you know what? It's a shame. Like I was a massive champion for this. And, and I don't like talking about it that much anymore because it does really disappoint me. And I can't say anything positive about it anymore. Because there just isn't anything positive about it. They've, they, there's nothing to talk about that's positive. So in a recent interview picked up by Radio Times, Rebellion Development CEO Jason Kingsley explained the situation. So he says, we've got the rights back so we can do it. We've just got to get rid of this virus thing that's going on at the moment. Right, first of all, they had the rights back a while back, years before this interview in, well, last year. Um, so that's that's not... No, that doesn't stand up. Also, not to mention that in the UK, you're allowed to film stuff as well. I myself made two short films and two feature-length documentaries during the pandemic, right? So, no, you are legally allowed to make stuff. So he's talking nonsense here. And it's such a shame. Like, he does a disservice to himself when he obviously hasn't been prepped by any PR team to give a good excuse, because this is not a good excuse. Um... But anyway, he says further, you know, uh, and then hopefully things can kick off in all sorts of different areas of making film and TV. It's just, it's all very messed up at the moment for everybody. Look, obviously, okay, obviously they, you know, they, 
there is a you know difficulty at hand, I guess, to a certain degree. But there was loads of people crying out for work during the pandemic. They could have made something. Uh, and they have actually made some films, like Schools Out, I think it was. Um, so although scripts have been written for the series, they had been written, just as an FYI, but then they redid them. So no, it's not quite true. But Kingsley said that the discussions are quite a long way down the road with some of them. These are with streaming deals, basically, to say who's going to distribute it. But there is no, there is nothing. So this is the last one. Uh, and then Carl Urban's obviously come out because he's promoting The Boys Season 3. And then we get this uh, as an article, uh, which, again, gets a lot of things wrong, but it also basically says he's not interested anymore. He's moved on. So that's what's the take-home from this. So Dread was released the overwhelmingly positive reviews back in 2012, just not that many, unfortunately. Uh, it failed to find an audience because they just had real garbage uh, marketing. Like, I'm a, I'm a, you know, 2000 AD was what I used to read. Like, I'm a big Dread fan, or was anyway, the comics has gone downhill and it's absolute trash at the moment but i used to be a mega fan of this stuff and you know i didn't even know that this was being released at the time so they they screwed their marketing up so in the years that followed the movie became something of a cult classic and demand for a sequel has never really gone away no it hasn't but they can't strictly speaking do it so in 2017 god damn so long ago now judge dread mega city one was announced uh, but there hasn't been a huge amount of movement on that front since so speculation has continued, running rampant, that the live-action series could include actor Carl Urban. Um, and that's the thing, right? He was in talks to appear. Um, I know that. He was in talks to uh, appear. But they've not nailed it down. And subsequently, this sort of discussion that we see here, I would say that they've completely fallen flat on their ass with their discussions with Carl Urban. So... He spoke with The Guardian about everything, the boys, but then also they touched on Mega City 1. So he was asked about his future as the protector of Mega City 1, to which he responded, Regardless of whether or not I'm involved with it, I think it's such a wonderful property. John Wagner and his entire staff of writers and illustrators have created so many wonderful stories that I personally, as a fan of Dread, would love to see. I can't wait to see what they do with it. So he's not he's not involved. Um, that's the take home from this here. I thought I would just dispel. I look really red. I'm not, by the way. This is just this stupid camera. And I've got a brand new light on my face and everything. But I look red. In fact, the whole room is tinted red. You can see it. These are grey walls. Pointless piece of information. But frustrating, to say the least. So as you can see from that, he's just not in it. But I wanted to dispel some rumours and just kind of bring you an update. I doubt I'll get any further leaks on anything like this anymore. Um, I used to speak to Jason Kingsley from time to time. Just to see what the hell is going on. But they, they're they clamping right down. They're f choosing to go the more mainstream media route to release stuff. Which is a bit of a shame because this is a very small property with, you know, not a massive fan base. They should be focusing more on fans that can talk to an audience directly, I think. But, you know, I'm biased. So anyway, let me know what you think down below. Cheers, guys. Take care.